Hi friends, we are back with the most awaited movie marking the end of phase 3 of MCU, Spider-Man Far From Home. We will cover some of the highlights of the movie which made our day at the theaters. <laughs> But first of all we take this moment to thank you all for the love and support in such a small span of time. You can find some other videos from the channel right here. Keep subscribing. This is to inform that there will be some spoilers ahead for those who have not seen the movie till now. Tony Stark might have died, but if you thought for one second that Iron Man himself would not have left behind a contingency plan save the world, you thought wrong. Far From Home sees Peter Parker come to terms with the fact that Mr. Stark has chosen him to pass the almighty torch and is left to him in the form of Tony's iconic AI sunglasses. Edith literally means, even dead, I'm the hero. He really did think of everything, huh? That's definitely Tony Stark for you. Tony created the tech to pass control onto someone worthy in the event that he dies trying to save the world. The glasses are handed to Peter by Happy Hogan, who tells him that Tony wanted him to have them specifically. Iron Man might be gone but Tony's brilliant mind still lives on in the form of the AI system and his protege, Peter. Hey, how long we been here anyways? 37 minutes. What? 37 minutes? That's insane! Cannot take this anymore. I gotta... I gotta get out of here. S.H.I.E.L.D. is no more operative after 2014's Winter Soldier exposed the Hydra penetration in the organization. But that could all change going forward, as the post credit scene suggesting Jackson's character could be working for S.W.O.R.D., which stands for the Sentient World Observation and Response Department, and is the cosmic counterpart to S.H.I.E.L.D., protecting the world against threats from space. Everybody back to work! With the shift of plans to more of a cosmic universe for Phase 4, this seems like a reasonable move which will be a great platform for characters like Nova, Adam Warlock, Beta Ray Bill, and the X-Men. One of the comic book even confirmed that Captain Marvel in future becomes the director of the S.W.O.R.D. S.H.I.E.L.D. solely took care of Earth-level threats whereas S.W.O.R.D. undoubtedly is on a bigger platform, and with bigger firepower is capable of handling cosmic-level threats like Galactus. Poor Peter Parker just wanted a break after the events of Endgame, but at the end of Far From Home, his life gets even more messed up, as his secret identity is revealed to the world. It's an event that will be familiar to those who follow Spider-Man in Marvel Comics, since the Web Slinger voluntarily revealed his real name to the world during the Civil War comic event. That decision set off a chain of events that ruined Peter's life. Will the MCU follow the same path? Or the new twist in the life of our favorite web slinger will be something different this time? Spider-Man's name is Peter Parker! What the Some of the memorable moments. Say hi. Uh, hi, Peter. Hey, Happy. Don't worry, I'm really taking care of your aunt. Your dress? Yes, it is. How'd you know? <laughs> what just happened? Come on, Peter Tingle. 